Finally tonight, the recession left many Americans without jobs and without homes, but it's getting better. The Labor Department said today that the number of Americans joining the line for unemployment benefits last week was the lowest in four years. Homelessness is down as well, and Seth Doan tells us how one doctor is helping to wipe it out. Chicken? Okay. 51 year old Gordon Costa once stood on the other side of this food line for the homeless. I come here to sleep better at night. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, I, I try to give back what was given to me. Coming in with a hot plate. Alcoholism cost him his marriage, job, and kids. He ended up at Father Bill's shelter in Quincy, Massachusetts. I took for granted having a wife. I took for granted having two beautiful kids in a nice house. To have it all pulled away was a little tough. How am I going to survive? Where am I going to get food from? What, where, uh, I'm unfortunately a diabetic. Where am I going to get my health insurance from? When he was homeless, his diabetes just got worse. No surprise to Dr. Jesse Gaeta. You started working as a doctor with homeless populations. What challenges were you seeing for your patients at the time? I think people have a really hard time prioritizing their health needs over things like figuring out where you're going to sleep that night. Dr. Gaeta realized the Boston Medical Center ER had become a revolving door for homeless patients. Let's use this room. It wasn't until I had just a couple patients housed that I saw this turnaround in their health. Basically, I was seeing that if I could write prescription for keys to an apartment, that that was going to do more to um, improve the health of the patient sitting in front of me than the prescription that I can write for anything else. So in 2006, Dr. Gaeta started a program called Home and Healthy for Good with state funds. Its approach of providing housing first and then counseling for drugs and alcohol has helped Costa stay sober since shortly after moving into his apartment two years ago. The program has helped reduce homelessness by 63 percent in Quincy and has also cut medical costs for formerly homeless people by more than two thirds. It was astonishing that um, a year into this project, we, we saw such a decrease in the medical costs um, that we, you know, we could basically more than afford to pay for the housing. How important was this home in pulling yourself away from that place? Uh, it was important because I felt like life can get better. Today, Costa pays 30 percent toward the rent. 200 square feet never felt so good. I got my own keys to my apartment. <laughs> it's all good. Seth Doan, CBS News, Quincy, Massachusetts.